I'm Michael Frudenberg and this is Film Masters. On today's episode, we're making this. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Ex go give it to you. He go give it to you. Ex go give it to you. He go give it to you. On today's episode, we're making the title from Deadpool. Now we're gonna be making it in Photoshop, so let's get to it. Okay, let's do this. Let's go up to File, New, and uh, we're gonna get down to Film and set the right format. It's gonna call this the Deadpool, and uh, yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's remove the uh, guides. Control H removes those. And the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and uh, select the paint bucket and make the background black. Okay, let's go up to uh, the color picker and change it to white. And uh, now we're just gonna write Deadpool in there. Now the font I'm using is Poplar Standard. So let's select that. So once I've done that, I'm going to resize the uh, text. So Control T and uh, just stretch that out in the workspace. Hit the hard enter on the keyboard. And the next thing we're gonna do is just gonna bring up an image of the Deadpool logo that's in the uh, new trailer. And uh, so I can have a look at what we're going to be doing with the, uh, the font. So it's gonna resize it so it's in the same shape. Once we're happy with that, we're gonna use the uh, marquee tool up in the corner. Just gonna select that and we're gonna make the first alteration to the D. Let me just show you something though. So I'm gonna uh, make sure it's white, pure white. And I'll get the paintbrush. And as you can see, it doesn't alter anything. So we need to make sure that the text is editable. Now to do that, let's open up a brand new layer, select that and the text layer and control E will bring them together. And now we can start to alter the text. Now, if you're not too certain on how to do it, Check out the other tutorial we've got on the He-Man logo. I'll show you in depth uh, how to uh, do alteration on text in Photoshop. So I'm just gonna be pretty much copying what you can see here. So we're starting on the D obviously. So I've done the top bit and it looks like we need to make some uh, other alterations. So I'm just gonna use the uh, lasso tool now and I'm just going to drag that around the D so that I've got the shape I'm after, select white, and I'm just gonna paint that in. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit uh, over the edges, uh, cause we can fix that as we go along. So I'm gonna go in there. I'm going to uh, just fix up this bottom bit here, as you can see. Now, the reason I used the text I did is because it's very similar to the, uh, the text of Deadpool, however, obviously, um, what we wanna do is um, obviously make modifications to that. So I'm just trimming it down now. Looking at the original Deadpool logo from the trailer, coming out soon, obviously. It's gonna be a great movie. It looks pretty funny. I love the trailer, it looks fun. And that's good, I love a fun movie. So I'm just gonna go in there and just uh, tidy up the D corners now a little bit more uh, I guess alterations we need to make is uh, the alterations to the center but we'll do that shortly just tidying up and uh, here we go now it's gonna go in there and just drag over and um, yeah about here looks good it's gonna delete that out and I'm just gonna fix that little bit down the bottom so drag it across like so and that's fairly similar so let's make a few more alterations to it as you can see in the original text that they've got in the film all the uh, the top loops I guess you could say like for example the hole in the D the top E it's all in line so that's what we're trying to uh, trying to replicate here So I'm just recording this. Um, 
it's not really uh, something that I've just simply uh, played around with or anything like that. But what I'm doing is just simply doing this in real time for you guys to show you just how simple it is to make a Deadpool logo. So I'm doing the E now. Uh, the E probably needs a little bit more work. So I'm just going to do that now. You can see the middle part is really chunky compared to the logo Deadpool from the uh, trailer. So we're going to play around with that. Just going to move the uh, marquee, or marquee tool up using it like a uh, an eraser. So As you can see, I've just uh, noticed that uh, with the D and the E, uh, we want to keep those top in line with the logo so that it looks more authentic, like so, as you can see. So we, the A's got to come up a bit more and the, uh, the other D and so forth, as you can see up the top here. See the lines as I'm showing you there. So I'm going to uh, get the uh, marquee tool again. I'm going to cut out the A and so forth. But beforehand, as you can see, the bottom of the A needs to come down a lot more than the original font. So let's do that. And we're going to color that in like so. And when we're happy with that, we're going to go up to the uh, lasso tool and I'm going to cut out the A. So let's uh, bring that down. So it's in line with the top cutout on the E. And once I'm happy with that, just delete that out. Okay, now looking at the D, we've got a D here. Now we can go through the whole thing and actually cut it out, but let's do a cheat. It's gonna go over, select it, get the marquee tool. We're gonna to copy the D, so control C it. And, uh, or you can obviously go up to edit, copy, and edit paste, or control V to paste it, which is the shortcut. And I'm just gonna drag that over the D, line it up. And I'm gonna uh, just select the text layer. I'm gonna delete the old D out. Like so, and that job's really quick. So as you can see, I've already got two Ds in there. And we can do the uh, same with the O's as well, but we'll move on to the P next. But before we do, let's drag the two layers together and control E it. I'm just going to call it Deadpool logo. Now, the reason I keep on uh, obviously moving the two texts and, and joining them together is so that they all stay on one layer and I can just keep on editing the same one. So let's go into the P now. We're going to do the same thing as the D. We're going to start off at the top and we're just going to color that part in. So let's uh, extrude that part out using the marquee tool. And now go to the brush and just paint that out. Now, the good news is there isn't that much work to do on the P, but uh, we do have to bring it down a little bit. So let's uh, use the marquee tool again and just drag it down in line with just there. And I'm just going to uh, color that in now. So just keep on checking out the original logo. So that way you can uh, use it as a reference. Now I'm just going to cut the corners out. So very similar to the D at the very at the very top. I'm going to do the same at the bottom of the P though. And then once we've done that, we're going to move on and uh, do the center. So I'm just going to grab that marquee tool again. Now what's interesting is the amount of tools that you actually use for this isn't that many. It's the paintbrush, the marquee tool, and the... Uh, lasso tool. So I'm just going to uh, obviously delete the center out of the P. So I'm just going to find the right spot that I'm happy with. And once I've got that, I'll just simply delete it out. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's probably not 100% identical, but we're not going to make it 100%. We're just going to make it so it looks like the Deadpool logo. So what I'm doing now, I'm doing a bit of a cheat. I'm cutting part of the D off and I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to uh, control T and drag it over like so. Drag those two together, control E to join them into one. And we've got the basis of the O. And obviously we'll uh, just play around with that. 
So once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna delete the original O underneath. Actually, I might do both of them at the same time. And uh, let's have a look. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate that and I'm just gonna drag it across. I'm using the arrows on the keyboard to do that so I can fine tune the position. There we go, that's pretty quick. So we've got the, uh, the two O's and I'm just gonna join them together obviously and bring them down to the original. Select them both, Control E brings it to one layer. Now I've got the original uh, text layer selected. Let's uh, duplicate that. So we've got two. So we've got two Deadpool layers, text layers. So I'm just uh, calling the top one top and uh, that one's fine. So as you can see, I can turn one off. It's still there. We're just gonna work on the top one. So first of all, let's get a uh, darkish gray tint. And the next part of this is we're gonna zoom in Press Z if you'd like on the keyboard to zoom in. But I'm just gonna to go to the corners and uh, using the paintbrush and the shift button, I select the start point, move to the end point and just holding the shift button down, select the uh, left button on the mouse. So I'm going around like so. and uh, making a border on the inside of the text. Now there's a reason why we're doing that because we're going to uh, fake the fact that there's some perspective there, some depth of the text. So you just keep going around all of the uh, text like so. And uh, once we've done the D, we'll move on to the E and do the same thing, and then the A and the D and, and so forth. So I'm just gonna speed the video up itself so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing around the text. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, jump across and do that. And obviously while I'm doing that, obviously I'll be uh, copying the D again and the O as well. It's a little bit easier this time. So, so if I just get the marquee tool and go around, but I'll do the uh, L first. And I'll just show you what I'm doing with the O now that the video slowed down. I'm just gonna copy that layer and uh, put it over the top and select that in the top layer and uh, Control E to bring those two layers together. Like so. Now that we've done that, that's the uh, top layer done. So I'm gonna use the uh, magic eraser tool now and just delete the white out of the text. And what happens is it leaves that nice, like dark gray or uh, gunmetal gray that we've uh, used to uh, surround the layers. And as you can see, if you turn each layer on, you can see that uh, the white layer is still underneath it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the first color palette. and we're gonna make a dark red, similar to the logo. And then we're gonna swap the colors around in the palette down here and select that color and make a lighter red, sort of oxygenated blood that's come straight out of the heart. Once we're happy with that, select okay. And the next thing we're gonna do here is go to the right hand side of the palette and double click on it. So we're working on uh, the second layer now, not the one that's got the border on it. And select gradient overlay like so. Now I'm going to go to the gradient drop down and select the very first one on the left hand side. And if I use the uh, reverse switch up here, as you can see, the dark color swaps around from the bottom to the top. So let's get the dark color up the top. Next, the pattern overlay. Let's get the drop down and select the uh, far right hand gradient. And we can use the slider to adjust the gradient amount. I'm just going to put it up to around about uh, 85. Select OK. And it's looking pretty sweet already. As you can see, uh, we've got the nice color happening. So I'm gonna select the top layer now, which is the border. Let's go up to the same again. Let's go to gradient overlay. And uh, use the reverse. And adjust the opacity slider. Like so, until you're happy with it.
and adjust the scale slider to around about uh, around 50 percent as you can see there's all the different colors you can adjust around the outer but we're going to uh, put it back to the black and white like so and select OK. Now that's the text done. Looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? So I'm just going to uh, delete the original Deadpool logo out now and selecting the uh, bottom and top layers. Let's control E them together to make one layer and call it Deadpool. Excellent. Now, let's uh, open up a new layer, drop that down straight under the text, and uh, we're gonna call this background. This is gonna be our background layer. Select it. Let's uh, go to the dark red. Let's uh, make it a bit darker. Select OK. Paint bucket tool. Then I'm gonna get the uh, text and uh, Control T, select it. So I just wanna rescale it up the uh, size I want, select OK once I'm happy with it. Now let's select the red layer, the background layer, bringing up layer styles palette like so. Let's go to pattern overlay and uh, as you can see there's different layer styles like I was showing you before but I'm going to select the uh, same right hand side pattern and now I'm just going to cycle through the layers using the up and down arrows now that I've got it selected. And I'll use Linear Burn. And once I'm happy with that, select OK. And uh, now I'm going to make sure that that same layer is selected. And use the uh, Transparency slider here, or Opacity slider, and adjust that. Now because there's a black layer at the very bottom, we're going to get a nice dark blood red. And that's it. That's our Deadpool logo. All you have to do now is just save as and save it as a PSD and uh, transport it straight to After Effects and start doing a bit of a uh, animation to it. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's something that you guys can uh, do yourself. But if you can get it together, I'd like to see them. Upload them to YouTube and tag me in the comments below. And that's how you make Deadpool's logo for the new uh, trailer for the new movie that's coming out. Well, if you want to become a Film Master subby, simply subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment below because if you put your comments in there, I'll actually respond to them. And if it's something about a tutorial that you'd like to see, I'm happy to make it for you. Stay tuned. There's a Mad Max Fury Road jacket coming along. We're going to be showing you how to make that post-apocalyptic. It's going to be epic. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.